Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Project Ozone 3. Kappa mode. How are you guys doing today? How's life? In between the episodes I did a little bit of off-camera work in order to make my life easier. This is going to be our new machine room. I was going to go very fancy and try to make a roof and try to decorate this place but then I remembered in a few episodes we're literally going to vein mine the entire thing and make a new control room. So for now it's going to stay like this and of course I will add a few more machines and try to remove the torches. It's nothing very fancy or complicated, it's basically the same number of machines that we had and I just reorganized them. I added a few more machines on the thermal expansion side just to increase our productivity but on the Ender IO and nuclear craft side uh, it's literally the same number of machines even though I reduced the number of alloy smelters from 8 to 6 because now I can make items in bulk. So for instance if I want to make invar which we need a lot all I have to do is this and we will have tons. Of course it's just basic cabling and everything goes inside our ender chest and gets picked up by our applied energistic system. And this machine room has already helped me a lot. Look at the number of capacitors that I managed to make. These are super expensive so yeah it has been useful. I also made a very small improvement to our sieving area. Normally you will not have this problem but this was a huge issue for me. So I would come here convert these guys into chunks and then put them inside my ender pouch or take them to our zenith furnace so that we can start or dabbling. And once you need a lot of items, uh, you can't really carry them. So I made one of these, a compactor. I hate compacting drawers, so this is the best option. I also tried that, but uh, this is very slow and it only can handle nine recipes. This guy is amazing and I can demonstrate it for you. You just drop everything inside, and it goes away inside an ender chest and goes to our zenith furnace over there. It's a stupid thing, I know. I, I just hate compacting drawers, that's it. So what is the plan for today? Well, we are going to go to the twilight forest and the reason for that is very simple. I exhausted all of our supplies and I have to spend some time so that they would replenish themselves. And I want to spend that time productively. So if we go to the twilight forest, we would unlock new mods and I would be able to spend that time productively. Yeah, we have a decent amount. That's nice. So we are going to go to the Twilight Forest and for that we are going to need a jetpack. So, Leadstone Jetpack, Hardened Jetpack, Reinforced Jetpack and finally the Resonant Jetpack. Since we are also going to fight in the Twilight Forest, we are going to make this armor plating. It's relatively cheap for what it is it, and it gives us more protection than our chest plate. And we just have to do this. Nice. I also want to make a new silk touch pick because our pick is not the best and it's also fortune and I want something which is silk touch. So someone suggested to me in the comments that if I make the pickaxe head out of cobalt and then make the binding out of prismarine and emboss it with night slime I will get an OP pick. The problem is he did not mention which part I should emboss using the night slime. So is it unnatural or crumbling? because both of them are valid. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use cobalt, iron for magnetic, and we're also going to use night slime tool rod for crumbling. No, it's unnatural, sorry. And then we're going to emboss it for unnatural. I think it should be fine. I maxed it out and I put redstone on it, so it's on hastest and it's still not insta mining stone. It's considerably faster, but um, Maybe I need the aquamarine, but I thought that's just for water. We're also going to give an upgrade to our sword. It does 17 damage and it's only made out of mandolin. If we use demon steel, it goes to 18, not that bad. And if we add bones, 19, nice. And then we're going to emboss it using restonia. The more hearts we have, the more damage we will do and I need a block of gold. I think we have spent enough time on preparation and now maybe we should get to making the actual portal. So for that we are going to need a glimmer crystal and I'm not too worried about that because we only need an exchange tablet and some pedestals and a laser beam. Yeah, or the beam cannon. And that's it. Also a cinder factory thingy for making ashes. So let me craft everything and then I'll be right back. First things first, everything that we need to make on the exchange tablet itself is going to require different aspects on a pedestal and some ashes. The way that we get ashes is through the cinder plinth. And in order to make that, we just need to give it some sort of an item. It could be anything, it will just void it and make ashes. And then we need to provide it with embers. That's not how it is. 
Yeah, so are you giving me ashes? Yes. Four. We need a lot. Okay, I think we have enough ashes. In order to make the glimmer crystal, we're going to need somewhere between 64 and 80 ashes in a pedestal. Each pedestal will only accept one stack of ashes, so this is why I had to make two. And we're going to go with 72 ashes, because I think that should be a nice number. 36 in you and 36 in you. So we need to give some embers to our beam cannon and... It needs 2,000 embers. Okay, that's gonna take some time. <laughs> we are almost there. Cool, we have 2,000. We can start the process. And I missed. <laughs> uh, do I have to configure you? Yeah, it has reached 2,000 again and we can start the process again. And hopefully this time it will work. It's doing something. And we got a waste. Okay. Um, six more. So we're inaccurate by six. Last time we used 72. And I think this time we have to use 78. We have enough embers. So let's try this again. So generally this item on its own is useless. But you can make a lantern out of it and it will put light sources. So that's the only use it will have. We have the lantern of paranoia. So we're not going to use this. We're only going to use it for the portal. You know we have a decent number of RAKs and I have finished tons of quests. And I haven't claimed them yet. So I was thinking maybe we go and purchase a few more totems. Because there is one for resistance. And that's 200, so no. There is one for strength, and that's nice. We will buy this one. Actually, we are going to claim the absorption. We just need more RAKs. I meant resistance, not absorption. We have strength and resistance. I hope it was worth it. Later on, we're going to have a portal room, but for now, I think this will have to do. Let us go to the twilight forest. Whoops. Okay. Yes, we have arrived. Awesome. Uh, waypoints. In my ender pouch, I did bring a glowstone, some papers, a crafting table so that we can start crafting a map. So we need to find a crow. That's the gas tower. There is a raven, not a crow. So we're also going to need a torch berry. And I think they were underground. Um, if we find a hole, it would be nice. I remembered that I forgot my torches and it spawned me here. Nice. The speed totem is only 15 RAKs. And I have to walk a lot. So we're gonna use that. I didn't get it. Sulfur or? But oh, these are nice. Oh, you can't get it. That's sad. There's a spawner. <laughs> okay. What do you spawn? Nothing. So it's a good thing that I came prepared because now we can also make the map. It's not very useful because you can just fly around and find everything that you're going to need anyway. But a map also helps. So we put you and surround you with paper. Cool. We have a map. And we take you. As a person who says that he has arrived prepared because he can just make a map, I forgot to bring food, I forgot to bring my ender pouch, I forgot to chunk load my base. I had to do all of that. But anyway, one of the main reasons that we are here are these. These are from Lordcraft and it will unlock that mod. <gasps> I vain mind by accident. These torchberries are also incredibly important in order to make the mana infused dust from Lordcraft, which we're going to need it in order to make a bunch of stuff. What? 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 Wait, wait, what? Oh, you need Carmenite in order to make the arcane workbench. I have to clear the gas tower? Fine. <laughs> anyway, I was going to say these guys are important and there is a mob which drops it. And I think I just saw a hot. It's a skeleton druid or something? Yeah. Maybe we get one. There should be a spawner. Are you a druid? Yes. Come with me. Actually, we take you to... There's a downstairs. Since when? Okay. Nice. That's a trap chest. <gasps> okay, that's oil. I have no idea what that thing is going to activate. We're going to open it. Nothing happened. So we all know that there is a progress system to the twilight forest and we have to start with the Naga and his spawner is over there. The Naga has been taken care of and now we need to fight the Lich King. I hate hover mode. Okay, it's L. Before going to the Hydro, we have to go to the maze. And I hate the maze. Oh, lily pads. 
I actually need them. You know, we need lily pads in order to make lily pads of fertility. This is why I'm collecting them. The big ones will be for decoration. I, I, I like them. And that is the entrance to the maze. I think. Are you? Yep. Perfect. And it's covered in oil. Awesome. <laughs> I have found the hole to the second basement thingy, but um, I just wanted to tell you that uh, the way that I go through the maze is that I put torches on the right hand side and then I will know which places I have explored and then I know my way back. So, you know, like vanilla mining so that you don't get lost in a cave. So many mobs. What the hell? We have found the mushroom and the problem is my sword is almost dead. So I hope he dies before my sword dies. Yeah, he will. Come close. Okay. Yeah, we're done. So the Hydra. And in order to unlock it, we are going to need to eat one of our meat stroganoffs. Now I should be able to pass. Good. And I saw one of these. I really want them. Yep. We got it. So out of all the fights, this one scares me the most. He hasn't spawned yet. Okay. Can we just shoot him with a bow? I wonder. It would be nice. Nope. This was the easiest one to find because you could see the structure from out of the forest. So, I'm happy. It took me ages to find them. Look, I went through the entire fortress. <laughs> anyway, I hope it will go easy. Let's eat a golden apple. Apparently, this is the reason that we had to come to the twilight forest, because we are going to need a lot of these. Yeah, and it drops from a mob, so we should be able to catch it. Towerwood borer. Those small thingy? You know, we're not gonna fight anyone except the main boss. And we're gonna cheese it somehow. Okay, there was a way... Um, I forgot how to do this. Okay, it's not working. We just kill him the normal way. So if I'm not wrong, and my helmet broke by the way, there is something like a silverfish here, and if we capture one of them, that should give us the thing that we're going to need. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, he died. Okay. So we need one of these silver fishes, and we're going to take him home because he will drop these things. Uh, borer essence. I forgot what this does. So I have to do this, and then you go in, and then you go in. And the last one. And you make me diamonds. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Cheaty diamonds. I hate you. I'm running away. That thing exploded. <laughs> okay. We just go home. Actually, while we are here, I thought we just finish everything. Because um, later on, I just want to come here and mine. And I saw a yeti. Hello. Come with me. And obviously you cannot leave the twilight forest without a penguin. And here we're just gonna vein mine because I think that's the easiest solution. Yep, oh my goodness. So technically we just need to find the goat thingy and give him some wool and our quest line in the twilight forest will be over. But there is a final boss which has never been implemented and I'm not sure if we have to take a visit there as well. It couldn't hurt. Oh, I can't go in. Ah. Uh, I need to do something then. I have to find the lamp of the cinders in the troll cave. Okay. The easiest way to find the troll cave is to find the troll stones. These guys. I just realized how we should get the lamp. It's in an obsidian casing. And what we have to do is to get rid of these guys. And I actually want one of them at least alive. So you come with me. You're handsome. This is not fair. It's inside. Oh my goodness. There's another guy. Are you actually the guy who's going to drop the pick? 
maybe. Yeah, my main problem is this troll cave and that stupid cloud city has spawned inside the castle. So I'm not sure if I can even break this. Let's hope I can because the lamp should be inside. Almost done. Yes, we have it. Okay, that's the magic beans. And here is the lamp. We're done. This guy has gone through an update. Look, everything has changed. So is there a boss? Because there is a spawner, there used to be a sign. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Final boss, you win. You can join the Twilight Forest Discord. Okay, so there is no final boss. Fine. So two very small points. Um, apparently when Minecraft was loading, I lost my internet connection. So my skin didn't load. I still have my beautiful eyes, so it's fine. Another important point is that making an episode about the Twilight Forest is very cheaty because I don't have to spend any time. I spend, I don't know, maybe three hours and uh, I have footage for four episodes. <laughs> so I'm going to cut it down as much as I can. And then I had a project in mind for the next episode, which we're going to do it today. If it's useful, it's going to be amazing, but it requires a lot of grind, which I will do off camera. Basically, I'm going to make a bajillion capacitors and then I will bring you in. All right, guys, it's been quite a while later and I did manage to make 218 of these capacitors, which we're going to use them very soon. I even had to make an extra empowerer and we're going to use those capacitors in order to make a digital miner. Hi. It's going to be super expensive, but we're gonna do that. The first thing that we're going to need is a bunch of alloys, the enriched alloy, and also a bunch of circuits. I'm cooking more redstone, good. For the robot, we're going to need an osmium compressor. Okay, it's not that bad. We have an osmium compressor. Everything is incredibly slow, and I cannot afford the alloys in order to make the upgrades, but uh, I can wait, and our robot is ready. Now comes the really stupid part. We are going to need to make two of these teleportation cores, and each of them requires four warp stones, and each of them needs an ender crystal. So I have to go to the end and get a few endermen. That should be enough, right? Yeah, we take you, 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 and you. We make the end crystal, some atomic alloy, warp stones, and two teleportation cores. And we can get our digital miner, piece of cake. And if you're wondering how many resources went into this project, my ME system is almost empty. And we are going to try our new digital miner in the twilight forest, because it's always sunny here and I can use solar panels because making a quantum entangler porter is just no. We're also going to see if this guy can find us crystals from Lordcraft. It would be amazing. He can. Haha. <laughs> I brought some speed upgrades. I did bring a chunk loading upgrade, but I also made one of these spot loaders because I don't know if this one works because sometimes it doesn't. This guy is also incredibly useful for us because we can ask him to mine all the ores. And I think this is how you do that? Yeah, perfect. Mine everything. The digital miner is going to be super useful for us in the future and it would be very prosperous if we use it in the deep dark. But for that, I need to make quantum entangler porters because we need to transfer the RF. And the recipe for this is not very cheap, so... This could take some time, but eventually that's the goal. For now, we just take the crystals. That's a bajillion. This is a bajillion. Yes. All right, guys, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye.